welcome back electrics if you want to see how i took this and turned it into this then stay tuned and watch the rest of this video so this is the switch panel that i bought for the van we've got a 12 volt cigarette light socket and then you've got two usb sockets there as well a voltage meter and then five individual switches and the way they've wired this up it's quite good but i ain't going to change it so essentially here you've got a positive feed coming in and then a ground or an earth or a negative feed coming out and what they've done is they've linked each individual switch with a positive and then round here they have linked the cigarette light socket, the voltage meter, and the USB sockets as well. So everything would run off this one single cable. They've done the same with the negative as well, or the ground. And then they've individually fused with an inline fuse each switch. All that means is that when this is turned on, everything will be live and I don't really want that I want the voltage meter and the USB sockets to work independently from the switches and I want to be able to switch these off and then switch these on separately to the whole unit being on so what I've got to do is adjust some of this wiring and it's not that difficult to do but I want to make sure that I cut or remove the correct wires. So the first thing is to remove these individual inline fuses because with my system, I've got a fuse box. So I don't actually need these on here because all of my cables are gonna be running from the fuse box out to the switch individually rather than being daisied along so i'm going to first of all remove those and then we are going to look at how we're going to power this up to separate the top lot from the bottom lot so now i've removed those inline fuses it's a little bit easier to see what they've done so if you follow the red wire it goes in to the first switch links to the second one and the third fourth fifth down to the usb across to the voltage meter and then the circuit's completed on the din socket cigarette lighter socket and again the same for the negative cables linked back round and then out to a ground point or a negative buzz bar here and that's actually okay because everything does still need to be grounded so this does still need to be grounded. So I can keep that one. But what I do need to do on the in is adjust these so that we're only got one, two, three. So I've removed all of the inline fuses from the back and I've just left the daisy chain negatives. So now what I can do is individually wire up each switch that's fused on the fuse block and then separate off the cigarette lighter socket, the USB socket, and keep the voltage meter live while it's on. So that's the next job. So this is basically the wiring diagram that I've created and put it on paper just so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. So it might be easier to pause the video here and have a look and see what that looks like. Okay, so I've now completed the rewire of my switch panel and I'll just quickly talk you through it. So before you had individual blade fused inline fuses that were attached to um, the outputs there. Now what I wanted to do was obviously create a switch link between the USB socket and the cigarette lighter socket. So now the top left and the top right switch control the USB socket and control the cigarette light socket so I can independently turn those on and off. And the voltage meter stays live through the um, through the main input uh, power that's coming in. 
So that's it at the moment. I've just left these tails here and put a little connector on the end because when they eventually connect up to the fuse box there, I don't know how far the distance is between the switch panel and the fuse box just yet. So I might even end up having to cut these off, re-terminate them with some little spade ends to slot onto the um, fuses. But at this point, I'm not too sure. A couple of way goes on there as well, just because they're really easy to use and they connect cables really, really well. And again, the negative or the ground or the, um, the black cable there, again, I'll just put a little ring on the end, which is going to attach to the negative buzz bar creating and completing the circuit. So that's pretty much it on the uh, switch panel re rewire. It's all ready to go. So now I've got to build all the furniture, put that into the van, locate where I'm going to house this, and then eventually I can wire it all in. Lovely. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks very much.